Hello friends, I welcome you all from my Chelty of Tech channel. And today we are going to talk about the navigation links in uh, modern team sites. As you all know that this is the default template of uh, our team site. I have created a website uh, of uh, the following uh, URL. If I uh, go to this uh, URL, uh, it will navigate me to uh, the front page of this uh, website. So this is a team site and in this team site we will talk about the navigation links. There are two types of navigation links. The first one is you can see here it is known as the left navigation link or the left nav navigation bar. It is a uh, shown here and it can be edited using your uh, admin account or the user id uh, which has full control over the site collection so how you can uh, edit these uh, links it's very simple in modern sites all you have to do is you have to click here and you can add here uh, a new navigation link uh, you can also add in between any of the navigation links similarly you can move it up or down uh, here you can see i'm moving it up then i'm moving it again up uh, similarly i can even remove the sublink right now i remove it remove it uh, similarly uh, if i want to maybe uh, i will save it uh, so the document link is no more here okay now what I want to do, I want to create a new navigation link. First of all, I will go into the site contents and let's say I want to create the uh, navigation link of uh, this document folder. What I will do is to, I will copy this uh, URL and then I will go into edit. I will go uh, and add uh, the plus sign where I will paste this navigation link and I will uh, type any display name for example i will uh, type document library so i will save it <clears throat> so it was as easy as like that that uh, a new navigation link uh, having the display name of document library is visible here i can click on this link and i can move into the uh, specified document folder so uh, one more thing about this link, uh, let's say I want to make uh, this link uh, the sublink of this one. So what I will do, I will move it down and I will uh, make it a sublink. After making it a sublink, you can see, uh, see that it is uh, hidden uh, by default and by clicking on the arrow button here, uh, you can see that it's uh, shown as a sublink. Similarly, I can uh, move back, I can revert it back to a main link, I can promote it back to a main link as well. So, this was about the left navigation bar. One more thing, what I can do, I can hide this navigation link. For example, you don't desire that uh, you, uh, you may have this left navigation bar, you want that uh, a complete page is uh, shown instead of uh, one navigation bar, uh, left navigation bar, what you can do, uh, you can go into the uh, site settings and here you can go into the navigation elements and uh, here you will uh, disable the quick launch button. So after that, you can see that uh, by clicking on the SharePoint icon, you can go to the home page. So here you can see that uh, the left navigation bar is no more because uh, this left navigation bar also known as the quick launch window uh, we have disabled the option to display the quick launch window so now what i want to do this was all about the left navigation bar now moving to us an other navigation element that is the top navigation element uh, many uh, website users many website administrators uh, many companies uh, want that they have uh, 
top navigation bar instead of left one because they want to make their display front uh, display uh, of their uh, website or their uh, organization portal uh, uh, to occupy a larger or the full area of uh, the uh, website so what they uh, prefer to do they prefer to add navigation links on the top menu so how we can make it uh, it's very simple we will go into the site settings and here I will go into the top link bar option right now there is no navigation link here so what I am going to do I am going to create a new navigation link I am going to type the uh, URL or address let's say I have uh, I want the home link to appear here uh, HLT of tech website and this is I will click on ok so a new navigation link has appeared here I will go on to the front page and here I can see that uh, it has appeared on the uh, top bar what I want to do I can uh, similarly create many navigation links for example I can uh, what I can do uh, let me show you open a new tab okay I'm going into the site contents I want that uh, these two uh, the links of these two document libraries may appear on my top page what I'm going to do I'm going to click it and copy this URL of the document folder and what I'm going to do I'm going into uh, site information you will site settings I'm going into top link bar and I'm going to add a new navigation link and here I'm going to type that and I'm going to say that that's our document library number one okay so uh, you can uh, give any display name I'm just giving you some examples uh, I'm going to keep it uh, small uh, for uh, less space occupying I'm going to click OK wonderful uh, similarly uh, I can add another navigation link how uh, let me show you here I'm going to copy it I'm going to create a new navigation link in top and I'm going to give the address here document librarian number two okay fine so going in uh, going towards the home page uh, you can see here that uh, new navigation links uh, are appeared here and you can simply uh, click on them and you can move to your desired location you can uh, go back from any of the sub pages to the main page here uh, by clicking on the home button similarly you can click on document library 2 to go into another uh, url uh, i think i have given the same url be uh, uh, behind these links so i'm going to click on home and that will make me to move towards the home page so these were about the navigation links uh, and uh, I told you there were two navigation links the quick launch and the top navigation link uh, let let's suppose I want to uh, again uh, up, make it appear then quick launch what I will do I will just check this button and you will see that on going to the home page both of these navigation links are, have appeared so uh, as per your design requirements you can change your navigation elements you can uh, it's up to you you want to prefer to use the left uh, quick launch button or the top navigation link or alternatively you can also use both of them uh, for example you keep a standard of uh, uh, top navigation links to your multiple site collection because uh, let's say you have multiple site collections and you want that all of these site collection links are appear here and you want that the content in the site collection uh, links appear here so it's up to you uh, i thank you for watching this video and i request you to subscribe my channel because i uh, strongly need uh, some uh, good subscribers uh, to subscribe my channel and continue watching these videos i thank you all take care